I find this particularly inspiring because we live in a world where truth is far more accessible than ever before. Now, as a caution, there's a lot of misinformation. So we should always, as the brethren have encouraged us, seek after reliable sources. And as an, um, as an idea, I spent some years in graduate school, and the particular school I was at had a library system of about 12 million books. I mean, just an enormous amount of material that no one person could ever consume in one lifetime. And since that time, the internet has exploded, and there's so much information, much good and truth on the internet. And if you want to learn more about the world, go out and find who are the trusted voices who have paid the price to truly understand what they're talking about. And in addition to the doctrine and truth that we get from the church, you could find incredible resources on every topic imaginable. And I'll just say in my personal life, I actually love going to YouTube and other sources and finding people, again, who've paid the price over many years of study and diligent effort to learn about many different topics. And I can go listen to world's experts on every topic imaginable and get the best ideas from them. And as God has taught us to learn out of the best books, um, if he was giving this revelation today, he might say, learn from the best books and from the best resources on the internet and from the best people you can find. And my personal experience has been there's been tremendous joy in learning. If God knows all things and he has all joy, I wonder, does our joy increase as we become more like him as we learn more? I love that concept. It reminds me of uh, a, a fireside that President M. Russell Ballard did for, for young, young adults uh, many years ago when he made an interesting comment. He said, though we are general authorities, we're not authorities in general. He said, we, we don't know everything about everything. That's not our calling. And so he said when he has questions, he turns to experts, not public opinion. He says he turns to experts and he finds out what they know so that he can then put that through his own filter of truth and, and try to discover some of these elements. I think that's a beautiful pattern instead of expecting our prophets, seers, and revelators to be the only source we look to for all truth. I, I love this idea that God has spread knowledge down upon the heads of all of his children throughout the face of the, the, the earth to one degree or another, and part of our job of seeking truth is to find those best sources of knowledge. That's profound. So I've actually taken the time, I've uh, gone to audiobooks because I have lots of little free time in the day when I may be walking somewhere, I turn on a headset, and I've been able to read thousands of books in the last several years on every topic imaginable. And it's been so mind expanding to realize there is so much goodness and beauty and truth in the world and so many good people. And, and obviously, we want to be centered on salvific truth, right? Staying focused on Jesus. But if I want to understand about history, why not go spend time with historians or geology, spend time with geologists or whatever it might be? And I've actually found over the last couple of years, as I've been reading more on many different topics from very qualified, reliable people, my joy has expanded. So I love God's invitation to all of us to join with the School of the Prophets in seeking all truth. Yeah. All truth. Look at verse 80, that ye may be prepared in all things when I shall send you again to magnify the calling whereunto I have called you and the mission with which I have commissioned you. He doesn't just want us knowing scriptural truths. He wants us prepared in all things to be able to go out and do what we need to do and to testify. Now, verse 117 starts with the word therefore, call your solemn assembly. So now we're going to get really practical. He tells them, verse 118, as all have not faith, seek ye diligently and teach one another words of wisdoms, or words of wisdom, yea, seek ye out of the best books words of wisdom. Seek learning even by study and also by faith. Taylor talked about this. God doesn't just want you fasting and praying and reading your scriptures. He, he wants you learning by study and also by faith, whatever that looks like for you, to use all of your mind and all of your heart. Think about that for a minute. When you get all the education you can, 
That is a means whereby you can show your love for God. The command is, love the Lord your God with all of your heart, might, mind, and strength. You expand your mind with light and truth. You try to fill it with truth, not just your heart, but your mind as well. You think deeply. You study deeply, whatever that looks like for you. That's a beautiful way to fulfill this. 